sir and my friends, my name is Eric Chandra and I'm from Management International class batch 2018 and in this video I'd like to tell you about my opinion about the video that you have already given to us in Edmodo so you have already given us about several videos so I've already watched one of them and then in this video I'd like to tell you about my opinion so the first is about what is the title of this video the title of this video is about the motivation theory by Hesburgh and then what do you think about the title so actually the title is it tells about the motivation uh, that can motivate the uh, people by the Hesburgh so the Hesburgh is uh, one of the scientists that has already made uh, two factors uh, to motivate the employees in the company so the next question is what is this video tells about so actually this video tells about the professor Hasberg has already met uh, two factors such as motivators and hygiene factors in order to motivate their company their employees in the company and then who is the speaker in this video actually the speaker in this video is Jim Relay and they explain the detail what the speaker explained this in this video Actual, actually in this video um, Professor Hasberg has already met two factors in order to motivate the employees. So Professor Hasberg don't agree about the financial statement, which is uh, to motivate them. For example, money as a mo one of the motivation to motivate people uh, or employees to work well. So actually, they don't, uh, he don't agree about that statement about their motivation. So they uh, so he met the two factors uh, such as motivators and hygiene factors in order to motivate them so uh, I will explain about the differences between two of these factors first is about the motivators motivators it means we can motivate directly about the worker in order they can make uh, their performance uh, in the workplace to being well and then the second is about the hygiene factors it means that uh, we can give a trust about our employees it means that the supervisor don't need to worry about um, the employees do for example the supervisor need to give a trust to the employee and then the employee will feel more responsible to do their job and then they will feel more uh, being trust by the supervisor so the supervisor don't need to uh, watch them and then control them intense intensely and then they uh, the supervisor just need to give them a trust and then how to implement to all uh, about the uh, fact motivators and the hygiene factors the first about the hygiene uh, about the motivators we just need to um, implement how to give a job enrichment for example about the job enrichment we can give a variety tasks to the employee so they can be more challenges uh, for their task so they can be more uh, have a, a purpose to achieve their goal and then about the second is about empowerment it means that the employee have a responsibility and then they have an autonomy allow the employee to make their decision so it means we can give a trust to them and then we can demonstrate the trust to the employee we can make uh, give them to make their own uh, decision in our work working and then about the hygiene factor it means that husband said that uh, there's also thing to be considered make sure that the, you must pay people properly in their work so it means that if they can work properly in their job so we must to pay them properly based on their performance in the company and then after watching this video what can you get from this video as a student of economic and business faculty and as a manager when you work in a work company so from this video actually i knew that there are so many factors to motivate our employees not only by the financial statement by giving them a money as a reward to motivate them but we can also use a two factors for example first is motivators it is really really useful in the company because we can give them a uh, motivate uh, directly so they can work properly and then the second is how can we give a trust by the hygiene factors for it means that we when we trust 
the our employees our and then our employees will feel enjoy they can feel oh the manager have already given a responsible to us so we must to do properly in our job and then how do we apply this topic in the company so actually uh, i've already learned about the factor based on that video so actually by the motivators we can learn from that um, how we can motivate motivate directly our employee if we were as a manager and then we can give a motivate to them we can also give a reward if if they can work uh, properly not only that um, if we are a manager we have already give a good behavior and attitude to them and then they can emulate our um, we can emulate our behavior so they can feel they think that we are a good person and then I think I need to take that um, factors for a motivator and a hygiene factors and the hygiene factors I think that uh, we must we as a manager we must give a good attitude and behavior to in order they can emulate our behavior so they can feel more supported by us because they think uh, they can be more um, more work well because they see our attitude so i think that is about my opinion in this video so thank you for your attention